Welcome to Geeks 4x4, the most budget-oriented off-road channel in all the YouTubes. And it is a hot one in Central Washington, so I tucked the ZJ in the shade. And we are going to talk about how to do an external voltage regulator if your computer-controlled voltage regulator in your Jeep 5.2 goes kaput. And this is cheap. Uh, that's why we do things on this channel. This is the most budget-friendly off-road channel in YouTube. So I'm going to put the links in the description to all the parts you need. I, I literally think there's two parts and some wire. Um, and we are going to show you guys what to do. So let's go through it real quick. I'm going to show you how I have this one set up and uh, make it a quick video for you. Let's get right to it. All right. Well, first things first, this Jeep is for sale. Uh, I decided to fix it completely right. So I have mine now hooked up completely correct. I put a brand new computer in it and that did fix the issue. Computers have gotten cheaper. I will put a link down in the description to a computer if you want to do that. Um, the, the computer that controls it is right back in there. You just take out this canister and unplug the plug, put the computer in. It's not that hard of a job. It's probably actually easier than doing the external voltage regulator, but the external voltage regulator I think will cost you 50 bucks. So uh, anyway, I have it still set up um, for the next guy or, you know, if anything happens. So I'm going to show you guys what I have set up. So I've got three wires. This is the voltage regulator right down in there. And I will put a link to the regulator and the plug. The plug is important. The wiring setup goes as follows. It is two wires and they can go any direction you want. Uh, I do not remember if the power needs to come from the blue, but I particularly did put the power on the blue. This has to go to a keyed on power. So this was actually just wrapped around a fuse in my fuse box right here because I didn't want to tap into the wiring or destroy anything. And then each of these two right here go through this little loom that I made and they go to these two little ones right under the back of this box and then you put the ground to this box down I, I actually had the ground this ground that's on this side on this bolt and i had the box up here and i taped everything up and make sure you ground out make sure you clean the inside of the fender if you're going to mount it right here or wherever you're going to mount it and give yourself a nice ground on that box because it is its own ground so it needs uh, to have a good ground. So anyway, you got two wires coming out of there. One of them uh, gives it power and goes to one of those posts on the uh, alternator. The other one goes straight to the post on the alternator. The, the wiring of this does not matter, uh, actually. And that's it's as simple as that. Uh, that is particular where I put mine. I, like I said, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to tell the new owner uh, that that is there if they ever have any issues. Uh, field repair super easy on uh, an alternator on this ZJ. So, anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Link is in the description to both the computer and the regulator and uh, plug for external. Well, I think that's pretty simple if you ask me. Essentially, you need six, seven feet of wire. The, they suggest 14 gauge, so that's what I bought. Um, and you need the plug and you need the external regulator. And I just use some self tapping screws. Clean the back of it off really nice so that it would have a really nice ground. And uh, it was as simple as that. I will put the link in the description for all the things. Like I said, I also bought a computer. I think the computer was two or three hundred dollars. So three or four times the external regulator. Um, this ran with an external regulator on it for a year and a half without any problems. Uh, it worked really well. It runs it a little bit higher though. I noticed that the computer uh, puts this sitting on your gauge on your ZJ. If you're from a ZJ and you're looking to do this. Um, you're sitting at the bar below the 14 volt um, line. So, and with the external regulator, you were sitting right at the 14 volts, almost, and it would like peg, it would bounce. So the lights would flicker and stuff like that. So, um, but definitely just something, don't mind me, the mosquitoes up here this year are just insane. So I'm just kicking them off of me before they hopefully chew me up anymore. I need to go get the bug spray. But anyway, it worked just fine. Uh, it did peg a little bit, but if you need to get off the trail or you just need something to get you by for a little bit, I really think it didn't hurt anything. Uh, when I put the computer in, it didn't change a single thing. Uh, it just, I rewired it how it should be and it works great. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget the links are in the description below. Thank you so much. We will see you guys next time.